Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to do some three phase RLC, you know, power factor correction. You guys have done single phase power factor correction. Hopefully you're reasonably good at it. If you are, then three phase power factor, factor correction will be a lot easier. Okay. So this is unit four handle 11 guys. <clears throat> and, uh, you'll notice that there's no answers with this one. And that's because these ones I usually do in class. And so I'm going to do them with you guys. Uh, this is question two, and question two is a little easier, so I'm going to do question two with you. The next video, I'll do question one, okay, and so we'll get them both done, but uh, we'll start with the easier one and worry about uh, question one later. So let's take a look at it here. It says 60 hertz, three-phase motor, drawing 91 amps, okay, voltage is 600 volts. It consumes 45 kilowatts of power. Now, it's asking about power factor correction. What that means is, guys, you are going to have to draw some power phasor diagrams. In fact, you're going to have to draw at least two. Okay, you're going to have to draw an uncorrected power phasor diagram, and then one or two corrected, depending on if you're correcting, you know, to unity or to 90%. I think this one we're correcting to both. We're going to do it one at a time. Don't sweat it, guys. You can do this. You already know how to do this. I'm just going to show you that you know how to do it. Okay, guys? So when I have a power factor correction question, I must start with an uncorrected power phasor diagram. Okay? You're always going to start with an uncorrected power phasor diagram. Now, what is that phasor diagram going to look like? Well, it's going to look like every other power phasor diagram you've ever drawn. Okay, it's going to have three sides. It's going to have the power here. It's going to have the VARS here. And it's going to have the VA here. Okay, guys? And uh, we need to solve it all. In fact, we need to solve the power factor as well. Now, let's see. What do we know here? Well, the first thing we know is that it's 45 kilowatts. So that one goes right here, right? We'll put it right down there. The true power is 45,000 watts. The VA, well, look, guys, it's giving you a voltage and a current, okay? At any time I give you a voltage and a current, you thank your lucky stars and you calculate the VA. But this is three phase. The VA is not 600 times 91. It is 600 times 91 times root three. And that's because that's the formula for root for VA in three phase. If this was single phase, VA is E times I, right? E total times I total. In three phase, VA is E total times I total times root three. So we're going to calculate the VA here real quick. It's going to be 600 times 91 times root three. Okay. And it's 94 five seven oh volt amps all right and the last thing no the next thing i'm going to calculate is the vars and i can just calculate it you know i'm calculating this short side it's going to be norton 94 570 squared minus 45,000 squared okay so i'm just going to do that it's pythagorean theorem hopefully you know that's not the problem anymore okay guys Comes to 83, 177 VARs, okay? And the last thing we're going to calculate about this, guys, is the power factor, okay? Because I can. Power factor is going to be 45,000. It's P over VA, right, guys? So let's do that right over here. The power factor, guys, is going to be 45,000 over 94,570, okay? So let's do that. Same as single phase, guys. The only difference so far is that uh, the VA needed to be calculated with the root 3 in there, right? Everything else is the same. 0.476, okay, is our power factor. 0.476, right there. Now, We've calculated and finished our uncorrected power phasor diagram. Do not move on from this thing until you're completely done it. Okay, all four, all three sides plus the power factor. Then we can come up here and look to see what we're correcting to, whether it be 90% or unity or both. Okay, but uh, if it's a power factor correction question, you're going to need this. So just draw it. Okay, calculate the motor's A. Calculate the motor's power factor before correction. Look, we've done it. 
0.476. Okay, so we're going to put that in right here, 0.476. <clears throat> Calculate the size of each of the three capacitors in VARs needed to correct the unity. Well, look, guys, this VARs right here, if we were trying to correct this thing to unity, should we draw a power phasor diagram to unity? Let's do it, okay? Let's not skip any steps yet, okay? We're plenty of time for skipping steps later. Here, here's our unity power phasor diagram just for fun. The power, 45,000 watts. Right, guys? And this VARS here is actually the inductor, right, in the motor. And so it looks like this, right? It's VARS XL. It's equal to 83,177, right? And our capacitors, and it's going to be a three-phase capacitor bank, by the way. It's going to be this, okay? That's our cap bank, okay, because this is no longer one capacitor. It is going to be a three-phase capacitor bank. And so, you know, this red line is the three-phase VARS XL, and this green line that's going to take care of it is the capacitor, you know, VARS XC. And it is going to be, if I'm correcting the unity, 83177 VARS, right, guys? And, you know, Where's our VA after correction? It's going to sit right here, right, guys? It's right, you know, zero degree phase angle now, my VA. And without even getting my calculator out, I know that at unity, it's going to be equal to the power, right? So it's going to look like that. Now, the question B here, calculate the size of each of the three capacitors in VARs needed to correct the unity. Well, the whole bank is 83,177. That means that the caps... Each is going to be 83, 177, divided by 3, okay? Because there are going to be three of them in there. And uh, it doesn't matter if that capacitor bank is Y or delta. It doesn't make any difference at all. There's going to be three, so just divide by three. And don't forget this step, okay? Because... Looks like they're going to be 27,726 VARs each, okay? And uh, that's always how it's going to work, guys. This is a three-phase uncorrected. This is a three-phase corrected, which means this green line is a three-phase bank of capacitors. And if I want to know how big those capacitors are each, I must divide it by three. Now, calculate the size of each of the three capacitors in VARs needed to correct this thing to 90%. Well, I'm going to correct it to 90% right over here, okay? And this is the same as single phase, guys. I'm going to draw my power. It's going to be right here. Never going to change, right? I'm going to draw my VARs XL that I started with. It's going to be this line right here. And it's going to be 83, 177, you know, VARs. Now, we're correcting this thing to 90% now. So my capacitor bank is going to be this line right here, right, guys? That's the cap bank, okay? And it's not going to take up everything because I'm going to leave some VARs X or I'm going to basically leave some reactive power in the circuit. I'm just going to live with it. And in order to figure out how much... I'm going to be correcting this to 90%. So I'm going to calculate my VA next. Same as single phase, okay? Same as single phase. The VA is going to be 45,000 divided by the power factor, right? Because VA is equal to P over the power factor, basically. 45,000 divided by 0.9. Looks like it's going to be 50,000 VA. Okay, guys? And down here, we're going to calculate VARS X. And it's, you know, 50,000 squared minus 45,000 squared, square root. So let me do that. You know, squared minus 45,000 squared equals root equals 
Looks like we're going to be living with 21,794 VARS, okay, which means my cap bank, okay, is going to be the VARS I started with minus the VARS I'm going to live with. So it's going to be 83,177 minus 21,794. Okay, guys, and I'm going to calculate that right now. 83, 177 minus 21, 7, <clears throat> excuse me, 794 equals. Looks like the whole three phase bank is going to be 61, 383 VARS. Okay, now calculate the size of each of the three capacitors. Well, this is the whole bank, okay, guys? So the caps, to correct the 90% each, is going to be the bank, 61,383, divided by 3, okay? Because there's going to be three of them. Uh, divided by 3 equals, they're going to be 20, 461, vars each okay so basically guys we're going to stop here okay and i'm going to finish the last two questions in the next video but my capacitor you know same as single phase okay except for we're calculating a three phase bank of capacitors here and uh so i have to divide them by three so if i was correcting this to unity guys i'd have to order three of these right three twenty seven seven twenty six bar capacitors and then i'll connect them three phase if i was connecting to uh, ninety percent guys i would have to buy th you know three of these and connect them three phase in parallel with the load okay guys and uh come back in a second we'll do d and e